Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on some liquid lipsticks which I got recently. I think I showed you guys in the last haul video that I did. Um, I got them shipped over via my mall box. Um, I will link that video below so that I don't have to re-explain myself about the whole my mall box thing and how I use them and how blah blah blah. Anyway, the brand that I'm going to be showing you is called Coloured Rain and they do liquid to matte lipsticks they do normal lipsticks and i think they do something else but i can't remember quite what they're quite a new brand they're a cult beauty brand um specifically based in america they do ship internationally so you are able to get them if you are based in the uk i've got three of their liquid lipsticks and they look like this and they are called matte lip paints. Everyone's just got a different name for liquid lipsticks. My review on these today. So obviously, as you guys know, I've got so many different types of liquid lipsticks from various different brands. My favorite so far has been Stila, closely followed by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Those are the more thicker uh, liquid to matte lipsticks. And then you've got the more mid runny, kind of mid texture ones. With Dose of Colors, Jeffree Star, those ones are kind of mid like consistency uh, and then you've got the more runnier ones which are like lime crime velveteens and then the color pop ultra matte liquid lipsticks which i haven't reviewed yet but i will be doing that next week and so these ones i would say are kind of around the mid consistency range so they're not too thick and they're not too runny i actually prefer prefer the thicker ones because you're able to layer them more easily and you only really need one coat for complete opaque coverage whereas some of the other ones you still need that second coat because you can still see your lips through it um but sometimes building it up doesn't always make it look so great and it feels really uncomfortable so out of these ones i've got this one here which is called rain fever which if you saw my eye mats get ready with me video i will link that below i was wearing this in it then this one here is called 24 7 i've used this one this one is like a dusky pink color and i love 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 this shade i will link the picture of me wearing it below And then this one here is called Mars. This one is like more of a creamier pinky beige. This is the only one that I've not worn yet. So far, I would say that these are very, very good. Um, they, I haven't encountered any kind of major problems with these. I can build them up, which is great. I've only really needed to put on one layer and then maybe touch up in certain areas. And that was with this darker one. I found that this one didn't apply as evenly as I would have liked to. Whereas the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones, which is called Potion, which is very similar in colour, that one applies cleanly, thickly, opaquely and dries down amazingly. This one did leave patches in a few areas. I will link my picture of me wearing this in, in here somewhere so that you can see what I mean. Because it won't really be that obvious on video unless I stick my face up right there and I'm not having that really because this camera's HD and... Yeah, you'll be able to see that spot on my nose that you might not be able to see from this distance. So, in, just in case you're wondering what I'm wearing at the moment is I'm actually wearing Vintage by Anastasia Beverly Hills because I've done a makeup look uh, video tutorial on this, which again I'll link below at some point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe this off and then I'm going to show you the swatches. As with all liquid to matte lipsticks, you need something oil-based to remove it. I'm going to be using Vaseline. So I'm back. Clean mouth reapplied my foundation around my mouth the usual kind of thing you guys are used to seeing me doing these videos so this one that i'm going to show you is called mars it's the only one that i've not used yet out of the three mostly because i've been working my way through the ColourPop ones and i've got loads of those so that's why i thought let me do this uh, video yet bef before i get a chance to do the other one because it's shorter i know that sounds so lazy but i am lazy got a very chemical smell about them but the smell doesn't last Because it's quite runny, it finishes like off your applicator quite quickly. Okay, so that was two layers of Mars. Two layers purely because um, some of it finished while I was applying it and I just wanted to go and apply more. This is an awesome colour. Look how gorgeous this is. 
This is like your perfect everyday sort of colour. It's a gorgeous beigey pink shade. Definitely wearable across all skin tones. I think even darker skin tones this would look quite nice on you guys. And it dries down relatively quickly, not too quickly, but quickly enough. It doesn't seem to settle within my lip lines like a lot of the lighter shades do. Those are the more creamier shades and those are the ones I generally tend to stay away from. I'm actually surprised that I bought this because normally I do stay away from the lighter ones nowadays. I've kind of learnt my lesson from Anastasia Beverly Hills Lovely and um, uh, Hollywood, Pure Hollywood. Those ones weren't great and Sand by Dose of Colours as well. This one looks great. This one's got a really natural sort of look to it and it just so happens to go really nicely with the makeup that I'm wearing. It's dry. It's got a comfortable tacky feel to it. It has got a slight tacky feel but not too much and it doesn't really come off. It comes off a little bit. I noticed when I was having a drink um, at work on my mug it left a slight residue but that was so 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 slight that it was like nothing. It was more the inside parts of your lips that are always getting wet because of your mouth because it's the spit in your mouth. So yeah really really like this. Really like the quality of it. And just like the other ones I'm sure that have lasted a really long time, I think this one will be a good contender too. So, yep, yeah, so I'm going to wipe this one off and then I'm going to show you the next one. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you is called 24-7. This colour is love. I love this. This one has to be one of my favourite shades that I've got out of all of them. It's like a dusky, rosy pink sort of shade. And I think it's an awesome, awesome shade. I have worn this one so far full coverage, lasted all day, just the usual feathering around the lips after about six, seven hours. Not very uncomfortable, the usual comfortableness that you get from liquid to matte lipsticks in that your lips can feel slightly constricted, but not so much that it feels like you need to take it off. Because I have had some that I just can't wear for that long because I have to take them off because they're just too drying. Now people are always under the assumption that liquid to matte lipsticks are meant to be really comfortable. Uh, no, I don't think there are any that are comfortable. They're not really designed to be that way. They're designed to last for a very, very long time. Now you can put a little bit of lip balm or something on underneath. I tend to always do that. I personally, I feel that it makes them feel a little bit more comfortable, but it does not affect the quality or wear or tear of the liquid to matte lipstick. So also you have to bear in mind, the more layers that you apply, the more drying it's going to get, the more uncomfortable it's going to feel. There we go, that's about one and a half coats I'd say. So this is 24 seven. I love it. How can you not love this shade? It's amazing. Is it just me or all of these things just happening to match my makeup today? It's not on purpose by the way. Love this, I think it's amazing. I actually used it with a saw lip liner by MAC. You don't have to use lip liners with liquid to matte lipsticks. A lot of the time it is pretty pointless because they are full coverage and opaque. You just go over your lip liner and that's it. Unless you're going to use it to blend out the edges slightly, it's a bit pointless because it doesn't really do what a lip liner is meant to do. And also I found that if you put lip liner over liquid to matte lipstick once it's dry, it's just going to snag and drag and just look weird and it will be a very obvious line over your liquid to matte lipstick. So just something to bear in mind it's always best to wear it underneath and then apply this in the middle underneath the lip liner and then blend it downwards so that you've got a mixture of two colors but i use saw with this and it's, this is like the liquid to matte lipstick version of saw it's almost a ditto copy that's what it's like i love this i think it's gorgeous and i think everybody should have it everybody okay so the last one i'm going to show you is called rain fever this one is a deep, dark, eggplant, purple, plum, whatever you want to call it. It's dark. It's not for everybody. It's not for the faint-hearted. But if you do want a purple, a deep purple shade, which is more wearable, this one is the one for you. I think this one is actually more wearable than Anastasia Beverly Hills Potion, which is also a deep eggplanty colour. But this one has definitely got a bit more of a purple tone to it, whereas that one is a bit more 
browny purple I don't know this one is definitely more wearable I wore this to eye mats I will link my get ready with me video below so that you can see me wearing it with an entire look again funnily enough this will match what I'm wearing today so let's get started with this one Sorry about that, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I just needed to get it all correct, as correct as possible. It's really, really dark as you can see. And I do really like this colour, but the only thing is that I find that it doesn't dry evenly. You aren't really able to tell beforehand while it's still wet whether you've got even coverage overall. And I found that when I did my uh, video for uh, eye mats and then I was looking at my pictures afterwards I was like oh there's like a patch there which is a bit lighter than the rest so that's the only thing and then the thing is like I said I advise at having to put layer upon layer because once you have it starts to snag drag it starts to clump up in areas where there's too much product and then it just doesn't look great but I don't know in this video it seems to have applied all right so maybe it was just then Maybe it was too early on in the day. It was like 7 o'clock in the morning putting on my makeup. That's just way too early for dark makeup. But yeah, I love this colour too. I think it's great. I think, like I said, it is a more wearable deep, deep shade. Definitely amazing for the autumn and fall months. Not that I care, wearing it in summer anyway. And I think they're great. So I really, really like all three of these um, ultra matte lipsticks which I got from them I will definitely be getting more hopefully they've got a whole massive range of them and they've got new ones releasing all the time if you follow them on Instagram and whatnot they've got discount codes get 10% off I used the Amreezy discount code which got me 10% off and they do ship to the UK they ship worldwide so you can get your hands on them so again, another company jumping on the whole liquid to matte bandwagon, but they've done it really, really well, in my opinion. And yeah, so I am very happy with these. I don't know what else I can tell you, really. Um, oh, the applicator itself is like a dofa applicator. But it's got a slight groove in it so that it can sit nicely on your lips. I think the Jeffree Star ones are like that, which I find actually really, really useful because that way you get a more even and precise application because it actually sits on the groove of your lip nicely. So yeah, so that's it really. If you've got any more questions or anything else you want to know, feel free to let me know below. Follow me on Instagram where I post my face of the days and when I get these products, you will see me wearing them before I actually get a chance to do a video because sometimes I don't do a video. Other than that, I hope you're all great and I'll see you all soon. Bye.